streaming a non-arena game. This is a base non-landscapes game. Um, this is actually the first game that I've I assume that's why my start was declined. Okay, here we go again. All right, um, so I've been playing Scooby Moons a fair bit in Fan Factions games and some Bullets lately. Endo's though I haven't played, but uh, have, um, did meet him at TMCon, I think. Um, all right, let's take a quick look at this game. I'm picking into the second seat. We've got double air awards, double fire awards. There's a big building event in round one, but there's no big building tile, which makes it pretty interesting. I think, you know, People might put in factions like Chaos Magicians or Giants here. I think that the only one where I would really be interested is Witches. Um, like the only stronghold faction that I'm like interested in here is Witches, I think. Um, that said, I mean, this is not too bad for like Swarmlings. I'm probably not going to put them in, but let's see. Um, I don't love like Nomad Stronghold here. I guess the late track is pretty good for the Nomad Stronghold, but yeah, it is Witches, which not too shocking. Um, one of the ship tiles is missing. There is a chance that the Priest comes up to the third seat, which means that Fakirs might have a decent time. Um, like, without the ship scoring tile, I'm more inclined to be interested in putting Fakirs here. They would open Temple Air too, so they're going to get some call rewards. Um, and especially with Witches opening with the uh, Strongholds, um, they're probably going to they're going to have a little more cult presence than normal. Uh, without the landscapes, uh, Fakirs can be pretty coin tight, so I like this opportunity for them to make some coins um, late in the game with some priest rewards. That said, I mean, I kind of expect something like Halflings to get tossed in and this priest to just kind of block our way. Um, but it would be pretty sweet if we managed to get a priest into the second seat as Fakirs. So far, it looks like which is Fakirs here. Fakirs, if blue comes into the game, then Fakirs will be here, but, um, but who knows if that'll actually happen. Otherwise, you might look for like a leech partner at G4 or E8 or something. If it's like gray, I mean, I guess if it's gray, then if it's gray, then things are horrible. Um, it's a horrible color matchup, but probably E8 if it's gray. And yeah, if it's mermaids, then you want D3. If it's swarmlings, swarmlings are no guarantee to be at D2, so in that case, maybe you're here. If brown is in the game, things are terrible anyway. Uh, but maybe you just go here for the leech, um, or just even for the second neighbor. Um, which is could open with a temp ship tile. That's kind of interesting, because temp ship means that you could just open oh, it's alchemists. That's ugly. Yeah, these three colors always create an ugly color wheel. Um, I do think Alchemist should be good here. It's not clear if you want the Stronghold or not, but Alchemists are very likely to take this Priest, which is bad for Fakirs. Um, Alchemists love early Priests so that they can advance their shipping. I would probably try to open Stronghold 2 Dwellings here if I were Alchemists, and yeah, it is Dwarf, so this is, this is a really messy color wheel. Um, 
I think black is supposed to be best here, uh, color-wise. And I think that witches are not that bothered here either. Um, two of the scoring past outs are in the game, which is relatively few for Alchemist. That said, I think that Stronghold round one into um, the sky round four is pretty good for Alchemist. Uh, so it's going to go Spade. Then Fakirs, I guess, get Worker Power. Uh, is there a chance you get Double Dig? If Witches take Temp Ship and like they secure G3 with their first action or something, I assume that it's like... Well, it's probably like Alchemist, Witches, Dwarves, Alchemist, Fakirs, Witches, Dwarves, and then you, we probably just drop our third dwelling on E8. Uh, our second dwelling E8 for Fakirs, just for the neighbor. Um, and for, like, the potential lead drop of this hex. So, I mean, Fakirs could, like, single dig this guy in round one, and then Temple for air two, and then look to claim one of these two guys, or possibly even both, depending on the carelessness of dwarves afterward. I do like the... So, my thought for Alchemist is that you take the Priest, um... You take the priest, you open the stronghold, you grab the priest and the workers, or just the priests, um, or just the workers, and then you go stronghold, uh, advance ship twice, either with a five power priest or with the regular priest, and then build two dwellings, um, and then you just build another dwelling and maybe get try to get a dig uh, in round two. Now it is awkward because you probably don't get a town, but I'll put one. Sure. So I think that it's quite likely that we get the tent ship tile in round one as witches, and I just feel like it's very good if you go stronghold for dwellings, right? Like my line would be start e nine f four, first action build g three and then try to grab the worker's action with your second action. Um, then fly to C4, build a stronghold, fly to C3, and then build C4 natively. Um, you're a little short on coins afterward, but it's just a pretty strong setup, I think. As for dwarves, what's the dwarves game plan? You're probably not connecting as dwarves. You probably just have to give that up, up right off the bat because if witches do get temp ship, then they're just going to build G3 with their very first action. Um, you go for one town through here, one town through here. So you go for a bridge town through these hexes, and then you go, I guess you try to dig G6, and then build a town through like these hexes down here. Um, which is you're going for a town here, maybe you're going for, you're probably not getting B5 actually, so that, that makes getting your second town a lot more awkward. Um, you need like a three hex town here maybe, and then the, the town here is, like, naturally you only really have three hexes here, so given that Alchemists try to beat you to B5, like, maybe you just have to really prioritize digging this guy pretty hard. Um, but then you have to wait until Fakirs actually come here. Uh, now, if Fakirs start E8, then maybe they dig this fly here, like, fairly early, but who knows if that actually happens. I, I just still kind of like the idea that we can get Stronghold for Dwellings as an opening. It's not super track efficient. Um, and really, we just have to like look for the coins so that we can build our TPs in this round. But I think it's kind of fun. Um, I do think this round six TPs alchemist is very, very good. Um, I think that we probably just build our first temple in this round. 
and we probably just say that like we're going to be able to get this hex for connection as alchemists. Um, I've been, we got dwarves in the action now. Interesting. The lack of landscapes does make the gears really rough. I think I wouldn't be shocked if we saw a jump to Fakir's now. Fakir's and Dwarves are going to be our two cult factions, which is pretty nice. Do Alchemists just start B5 in any world here? It's probably not right, right? But there's no town round, so like towning early is more valuable than normal. Like round three or round four town can be very good. That's probably when Fakirs want to make their town sanctuary in that round. I don't know. I would probably just jump to Fakirs now if I could. They're not good. But there are a few bits me off of witches. That makes me a little more confident in witches, but I kind of just like the Fakir's game plan okay. Like Temple Air 2, single dig, the center hex, and then next round you try to either get another single dig or. Or a hard dig even, and then you go for your temple in this round, and yeah, I think I think life can be okay this way. Now alchemists, it's, and maybe it's too soon to be <laughs> to be not on alchemists. Um, so okay, so witches get a town here, and then they get a town. They get these hexes. I don't know. It's a lot of workers for witches. <laughs> We're just gonna have a lot of workers, and having a lot of workers is pretty good. If I do get bit off witches again, then I probably go for here and so just regret life. some other things through as well. So, uh, for example, who takes the priest in round one? Uh, and who gets the double speed? Uh, like, if, if alchemists do go this line that I was thinking, which was stronghold to ship, then, yeah, they're not double digging. They're using their power for workers and priests. But they, But if that happens, then and Fakirs don't instantly double dig. Like, it's not clear to me who's actually getting the double dig in that case. Like, like one potentially hot take, right, is do witches open temp ship? Or do they just hop on the six coins? The downside to opening with the six coins, of course, is that uh, dwarves could grab this hex. Um, but if that happens, maybe we just take G2 and bridge town through here. Um, like, it feels like we have to temp ship to secure G3, but I have seen worlds where, like, this D6 hex could connect you. Um, and I, I guess Fakirs might want this D6 hex. The other hex that can connect you is this E4 hex. Um, if Fakirs grab E6 and get to D3, 
then alchemists aren't that interested in E4. So like you could connect like F4, I6, and E4 to like the top. Uh, oh, looks like we got a game. I'm just gonna place the normal spots and see how it goes. So basically, I was saying that maybe it was worth it to take the six coins and set up ten ship. And my rationale there was that um, that way I could have a fast round and be the first one to pass onto temp ship. Like that would be pretty good, right? Passing onto temp ship um, because the actual dwellings round is this round, and I actually foresee that my issue with which is this game is going to be coins. So I'm more and more leaning toward taking the six coins going stronghold, build C3, then instantly pass. So that's a three action round, and I anticipate that everyone else will have a longer round than that. So I should be able to get temp ship um, after this. The only question is, will I still get G3? I don't think that it's particularly good for dwarves to take G3. They would connect, but I don't think dwarves are expecting to get a high network this game. Uh, it really only hurts me. Um, it really doesn't benefit dwarves versus alchemists or fakirs to take this G3 hex. They're going to get these two tunnels anyway, so um, there are a few places here. Who do you think is going to give him the neighbor? Does he really think that alchemists are giving this hex? Maybe Nerdcube doesn't dig E6, encourages alchemists to double dig, and then gets this neighbor and makes this town. Regardless, we are placing E9. Dwarves take the spade. Predictable. Alchemists take. Oh god, no. Man, you, you just can't big, beat Big Cube here. This is, uh. I think. I think that's a bit of a misstep to Alchemists, but. I could be wrong. This does mean that they're likely to get the double dig, and it comes with a worker, which is good, so. Yeah, I'm probably being too harsh on that. position where they are expected to get the double dig. Um, so, I mean, that is quite good. Like, once they upgrade to Stronghold, they should, yeah, okay, so Dwarves do take this. I, I don't think that that's a great move, um, but who am I to say? Yeah, that's just disappointing, but whatever. We have to live with it. Fours will take the worker's action and then probably upgrade over here, I guess. Nerdcube, if I'm Nerdcube, I'm probably sending Priest to Air or Single Dig in this E6S. I don't know which one it'll be.
You also have hilariously one. single dig G2. That would give me the double speed, which I guess I don't really have any use for, so. And yeah, anyway, yeah, we made a gamble. It didn't pay off, and this game will probably just suck now. I think that we're probably just last. I do think that uh, Fakirs really want this hex, this E6 hex. Um, we'll see if it's true. I also think it might be worth it to fly to F2. So the thought with F2 is that it's a path to get to E4 um, when I temp ship. If Alchemists do double dig, or if Alchemists do dig this hex, that's okay. Um, yeah, it's okay if Alchemists dig this hex, uh, because then I can just go for this town over here. Um, that way I can be friends with Fakirs here. Alchemists should come up to here, but if I can... It's two digs for them to get here, it's three digs for me to get here, so it's possible. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, getting this priest is so good for Fakirs, and also this, I, <laughs> I really do not approve of what uh, of what dwarves did here because they're in great danger of losing this hex now. Um, but whatever. Uh, it's if I'm Fakirs, I'm probably sending priest to air. This hex should be on threat next round, so. I guess Dwarves might target this guy next round. Uh, it does give them more access to here. But I mean, they could have just tunneled the G6. Well, whatever. They're free to do what they want to do. Yeah, I do think it might be fun to fly to F2 and see what happens uh, when I pass. Dwarves legitimately might be in a position where their best move is just to tunnel once and then pass for the double speed. Um, like, their their best line might be to just fuck with me, which is also very unfortunate. Like, they could, they could tunnel here with their next move. I have to fly. And then they could immediately just double spade to open next round, secure d4, g2, or like turn these two guys gray, um, build this guy first, and then see how Fakirs respond. Um, so I mean, there, there are definitely outs for dwarves here. Well, despite that I'm not a huge fan of what they've chosen to do here. The other thing is that if they don't build a temple, it really wastes some of the benefit of being dwarves here. But regardless, I do think I've talked myself into flying to F2 with my first action, with my first flight. I guess I should really just secure C3, but... are hand of the double dig. That's this is deeply sad. Well, that's life. <laughs> um, 
That's just Terra Mystica, right? Some people get breaks that you don't expect. For the record, I would probably dig D4 and G2 here as dwarves. I think I would... Wow, they're gonna... Okay, I mean, I'm getting hit a double spade now. It's weird. Um, I don't think I should let... I don't think that I should really let it get back to Alchemists. But I also don't have a good place to put it. The only place that I have to put it is G2. Um, like if Alchemist got the double spade here, they're just going to win, right? Do I care? I'm, I'm really going for my own game, right? I, I really should have just gotten Stronghold for Dwellings. This was, like, the, the downside of Dwarves just fucking me over was obviously very high. Fly here, and then we're gonna pass for temp ship. There's a secret world where I connect off of this brown hex here. Um, so let's stay tuned for that potential eventuality. Fakirs obviously need to make at least two more actions. They need to temple and use their priest either to fly or to send it to air. They indeed send it to air. Don't take the double dig first. If I'm dwarves, well, dwarves have already committed to making a temple now. The double dig doesn't do them anything. Wow, this is this is insanity. Um, this round really has not gone how I expected. Um, and now dwarves are going to pass. So if I want that double spade, well. What can we do here? Two of these guys don't want the temp ship guy, and alchemists have at least two actions left. So we could do something like take the coins. We could also take this round's double spade away from alchemists, but what does that do for us? And I guess we could transform these two hexes. But I really want to have temp ship. Like, I, I could also advance my shipping. So if we take this... Dwarves' next action should be to pass. And then I could get their spade. It's tricky. It's tricky trying to figure out what actions we want here.
Actually, I could double dig and build this E3 X. That might be kind of fun. That's not, that's not actually good, is it? Probably the case that prioritizing my connection too early is a mistake. We shouldn't fight too hard for connection too early. Alchemists are thinking a really long time about this, but they should they should just be taking the double speed. Wow, they're gonna temple for Earth one first. That's unconsciously greedy. Alright, how do we react to this? Do we just take the spade? Do we advance our shipping? We could even just send priest to air. Like, I think that we want this double spade, right? Curious how this spade would be ridiculous. Let's say ship next round, then go one, two, three, four. We'd probably start with double spading G2. Um, yeah, we'll start with double spading this guy with our power. Um, followed by... So so that'll give us town space. Um, it'll also keep dwarves locked out of like taking these hexes over here, which I might be interested in. Um, Then we fly to C3, uh, advance ship, build, build. Um, dwarves are probably just digging this guy and then tunneling or something. Doors probably go priest to fire or priest to air, dig tunnel, something like that. Bowser hugs, what is up? Yeah, I know, seriously. Fakirs and dwarves not opening, stronghold here is so cowardly. I guess I also mentioned the possibility of doing something silly like dig here, dig here, fly here. Um, that gives the town through here, but... I keep talking myself into silly stuff. 
This is Temple Earth 2. Wow. Did not expect that favor from alchemists. Thought that it would be Earth 1. Because if they just grab this, that should be pretty sufficient for them. Anyway. Um, this hurts the cures a lot, but I think that it's the right move for us. Um, I do think this is the right move for us. It preserves a bridge town possibility, which is important for us. We really want to make towns this game. Um, am I losing the double spade? Yeah, I'm definitely losing the double spade if I don't take this. So yeah, this game is getting up real messy. I believe it's fly to C3, advance shipping, grab C5. Uh, Alchemists are actually going to get to 3 ship and build B5 this round, that's a bummer. Um, Fakirs are out of spades, so they need to figure out what they're going to do. They can still bridge down pretty nicely here. They also have enough stuff to temple, hard dig, whatever. Um, so I'm curious to see how they play this. Yeah, I think that, that Alchemist winding up with double dig last round was just far too much. And the rest of us have killed each other and they haven't really taken any hits at all. Other than like potentially losing this town spot, which is not a big deal for them. Fakir's take the Priest, so they're gonna go fly, dig, hard dig, fly. Um, we're going to have a chance. Um, So I was thinking that I needed to spade this guy, but in reality I can just use my spade on e4, right? Um, when I count, I'm gonna go e4, c4, i6. That's the only stuff that I can build this round anyway. Um, and then maybe I can double hard dig this guy or something. Or I can, yeah, this bridge town is, is garbage, so I don't really want this. Um, Maybe this is working out better for dwarves than I, than I gave them credit for. Anyway, we're, adva we're definitely advancing our ship. I would prefer to go E4, I6, C4. That does, that does lock up our connection. And then it uses all our workers efficiently. Um, and from there, we try to figure things out. Fakirs are going culty, which is what I expected them to do. I think Dwarves will, at this point, now that they've lost both three spots, they're just going to send their priest to the Earth track, which is quite reasonable. Um, Alchemists will probably... How many moves do I have left versus Alchemists? Alchemists might build B5 with like their first action next round. Um, on that later. I 
I expect Fakirs to grab the coins this round. There's the first ship advance from Alchemists. Um, so they're going to build one, two, three, I guess. Like, that's what I would think. One, two, three. And then they would still have this hex left over. If they get temp ship, they get this hex. Um, but we're going to take this. I am, like, because I chose this line that I did, passing on to the spade, I am ironically running into the same coins issue that I was afraid of running into before. Um, so that's quite sad. I think we're going to be passing on to this. Cube five power priests. That's interesting. And that's like I don't think it's a bad move at all. Um, so the next temple is coming next round. That's probably going to be the Earth One temple. Um, So the coins don't get taken this round. That makes the game hilariously coin tight. Alright, Fakir is going to pass. So we've got our connection. Um, now we just need to figure out how to make towns. Uh, so one of our town ideas is to grab this hex away from alchemists. We do get the six coins tile. Like, there's no way that alchemists should ever not build here, so we are going to get coins. So that's good. Uh, 
we should always get this neighbor. Um, the question is like how vicious will alchemists be like trying to secure their connection by taking this hex or something. Like they can fight really hard for it. I would hope that they would prefer d5 and then f5 and then like one of these two guys later, but um, who knows. I was saying that I didn't want alchemists to take temp ship. They would probably prefer the spade anyway. Um, let's see. We could go for like the two bridge town type of game. So that would mean like probably a maybe like a four hex town through these hexes. Um, so that's three digs and a bridge plus another bridge. Um, oh wow, alchemists don't even build this guy. This hex is going to be under fire real early next round. I expect Fakir's to open with a double spade. Maybe e2, d6? No, he can only fly once. So I would think e2, e3. That would be my guess. And then if I fly to d1, then I could get a town here. And two towns would not be awful in this game. Okay, so alchemists are going to get a town this round, and they're probably going to get Earth 1 as well. Um, 2.30 a.m., okay. Have a good night. I just, I actually just got back from Italy, so I'm on that time zone as well. I'm trying to correct myself right now. <laughs> Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Uh, Nerd Cube does not need to use double spade yet, so he might rush Earth 1 or something first. Let's see what happens. I would personally like to probably see this. Because then if I do get D1, then... Because then I can fly to D1 and we should be pretty happy. Takes the coins. I guess that's not too unexpected. Um, we do kind of just need to actually do some useful stuff. What do dwarves do? Dwarves sent their priest to earth. What did they do last round with their priest? Oh, they didn't. They didn't use it, they just passed onto the TP tile. So they're gonna make multiple TPs this round. That's fine. I would love to buy a priest this round so I could send it to the air track. Um, we aspire our chant, that's what we'll do. I would like to see alchemists use their spade on g6, but they're probably going to try to force their connection through b4, in which case I do have a hard decision on whether to try to take b5 this round. Don't commit to grabbing this hex yet. Um, but I guess I guess they can just advance ship to three. So I'm not anywhere out of the clear in the clear yet. <laughs> um, do we go for a temple here, or do we 
like, I actually think that we could realistically just temple for air two here. Um, that's probably not actually good though. I would love some leech so I could actually just grab the priest. I haven't gotten any leech, so I think that we just upgrade here. Our leech has actually been really, really poor since round one. There's the first earth one grab. They upgrade away from me, which is annoying. I'm probably fine at A10 either way here, um, regardless of what happens. So I think that's a pretty safe flight to make. Yeah, I think there's nothing wrong with flying here. The other, the other safe flight is A3. Um, so those are my two remaining safe flights. Fakirs have gotten themselves in position to double spade once again. Finally, send our priest to to air. Um, I think that I probably placed the priest over here in that case, or the, the dig rather goes here, because presumably fakirs are coming through here. Here's where we got two cult spades. So I think that they might dig this hex and this hex. Um, use the cult spade on a7. Oh, they don't have a priest. So they can just dig a6 and e3, put the cult spade on e2. Um, that leech is pretty welcome. One thing that we could do here is we could just secure this. So if we do secure this, Fakirs will, well, Fakirs are actually gonna be very slow. They only have one, they're, they might not come for this guy very soon. Um, so I might not have a neighbor here. I could grab this E3 hex um, right now. I don't even have good spots where I can get my TPs up, that's, Kind of a problem. And I'm not sure that I have a great spot to use this cult spade either. But regardless, I think that this can't be that wrong to put this priest onto the air track. 
um, and then wait and see like where else I can get some TP neighbor spots. I, I think that this F1 spot can't be that bad. Yeah, so B5 is gonna get built here. It's too late really to fight it. I had a chance before, but I decided to just let go. Maybe you live to regret it, maybe not. Alright, I think that we can I think that we can afford to make another TP here. Um, I think that we just make this TP over here. Um, like we said, we're interested in potentially going for this town. Um, our flight will be to D1 next round. Uh, we could actually hilariously go for all of our TPs here, but I don't think that's the right move. Yep, so next round, we should pass here. Next round, we'll grab D1. Actually, Nerdcube probably cult spades this, right? But Alchemists are going to pass, like, right away. Mm. And once he passes, there's going to be a spade war. Like, I was thinking about securing the bridge, because... Because dwarves very much want this bridge right now. Okay. It's painful not to get this bridge next round, but I think that the correct move here is to take D1. Um, we are going to down convert one extra, and I think that we're supposed to take... We'll build two more dwellings next round, probably not build any TPs, so I think that we're supposed to take this. So we're going to open with a flight, then temple for either air one, earth one, or water one, depending on what's left. We're going to see. We'll be right back.
Okay, we're back. Um, like we were saying, we wanted to put this spade here. Oh, uh, really awkward. I think that, I think we're not getting this town, are we? Like, Fakir's probably just dig this hex to yellow as well. They don't really need to anymore, though. I think that they probably prefer to Sanctuary for scoring favors rather than taking this hex from me. But, I mean, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> they, they certainly could take this hex from me, but... Yeah, in that case, we're probably in trouble because then Alchemists make a bridge town through here. Oh, Dwarves didn't take the bridge, so that's that's a nice outcome for me. Um, Fakirs take the coins, that's about as good as it gets. We'll lock up this hex. Alchemists, if I'm Alchemist, I'm single digging this hex. Single dig two workers on this hex, or three workers on this hex. That has to be correct for Alchemists, I think. So I guess if they do that, then they risk losing this guy. So... Nothing is that simple. They just advance on dig tracks, okay. Seems reasonable. Um, I think we're just grabbing a bridge here. Oh, that's, that's fun. Um, It's actually kind of tricky. Uh, should we still be templing here? Like I could take double spade here, but I think I am going to trust the process. And what do we want here? How much stuff are we really building still? We've actually built like a lot of our structures already. Um, I think air one is guaranteed to be good. And then we take either earth one or water one. Maybe fire two. I don't think we're making more than two more towns or I don't think that we're making three towns this game. I think I'm making this town here and I'm this is like a very, very stretch goal. Um, Fakirs could come after this at any time. And there's no real other town left, so. So yeah, I think we start with air one. God, I desperately need points. Um, so is it Earth one or Water one for us? And will, that, will we actually be left that choice? I think Dwarves want Earth one, but they need to wait until next round to take it. Um, this round, I think that we are building this hex this round, or we're building F1 this round. So that seems like a pretty good reason to take Earth one instead of Water one. And next round we'll temple for water one if we still can. Actually, the final round is TP scoring. That seems pretty good for earth one. Maybe I wasn't supposed to take this air one and I was just supposed to take earth one and water one. Also, what uh, what town are we taking? Are we just taking the two key town? Taking a coin town? Coin town's a little sad, but We need two more, two of our remaining priests need to go to advancing shipping. And we need all the coins associated therein. If I'm Fakirs, I'm probably sending priests to fire and then turning this guy into a sanctuary. This might be We'll see what the scoring favorite is, or what favorite is, period. No one says it has to be a favor, scoring favor. Uh, 
How many dwellings are we building? We might build four more dwellings this game. So that'd be one, two, three. And then we hard dig down another or something. TPs wise, we're almost certainly going to make more points off of water one long term. And yeah, indeed water one is going to disappear faster. Alchemists do not secure water one this round, but they're going to get it next round. But we can contest water one next round as well. Let's be greedy and take earth one first. Um, how many points does 2P realistically get us? I think the answer is it still gets us some points, right? Well, let's take Earth 1 first, like we said. Um, we get 3 power from three instant power from uh, taking the Tukey Town. That always feels pretty good. The Ship Town doesn't do us anything right now. Well, the Ship Town lets us build this hex and this hex right now, but then we're out of structures and we can't build secure the sky quickly. So I think that we take, yeah, we just take the Tukey Town. It comes with a worker this round anyway. The other option really is the priest town. Um, we could send priest to fire. It's a lot more points straight up, but then we do lose out on this advantage. So I think we chance it. We're also probably losing a three, right? I think that Alchemist probably bridge here and then dig this guy away from us. Which means that this might be a dead hex. They buy a priest? I don't know what that's about. Maybe they're just hoping to send priest to fire because it's like a good monetary investment um, or economic investment in general. Hot take, it's probably time to pass, right? Actually, dwarves are gonna pass through the TP tile before I can. Okay, so is it is it time to just pass? I I'm just so greedy, I really want to just build f1 and if dwarves pass onto the tp tile then i just get the single spade and i take e1 first action i think that that's not such a bad outcome This TP tile is not that good for me. It's not even the TP round. <laughs> yeah, this TP town is going to feel really bad. I was just supposed to go for the priest town. I would have seven more points now. I would still be sending priest to fire. I'll still be on the same step on fire. I'd get two more coins next round. Maybe I just temple for air three next round if water one disappears. Seems fairly realistic. Alchemists, actually alchemists should just sanctuary water run right now, shouldn't they? Oh, now, now Fakirs aren't incentivized to double dig my hex, so. Unless they think I'm winning, which I would say that Sources say no. That doesn't look super likely to me that I'm winning, but who knows what my opponents might think. Again, dwarves thought that the, their best move was to try to kill me in round one, so.
presumably this is pass for the spade. Alchemists do put priest to fire, I like that. Um, if I'm Fakirs, I probably put last priest to fire here. Dwarves are considering going for the temp ship so that they can actually bridge next round. All the earth ones are gone, so dwarves are heavily incentivized to water one block now. So I think that my first move next round should be securing water one. Um, and second move should be taking that hex. Which means I want the spade most. Spit does go, it's fine. Um, regardless, we are passing here, right? So, I guess we just like this temp ship tile is actually getting to have a lot of coins on it, and it might be getting hard to say no to that type of coin income. Especially given that I'm going for water one here, like who's going to benefit off of the TP tile? I guess Alchemists can benefit off the TP tile because they're going to just, yeah, Alchemists benefit off the TP tile if I leave it. Um, Fakirs also benefit off the TP tile. But I think that all this economy is just probably good for me. And plus I can natively build A1 in this case. Like this is this is just a lot of economy. Um, I think it's more economy than this TP tile, and I like econ. This stream approves of big econ. Okay, Zoa did not take water one, so I think that our first action is supposed to be water one. If this hex hangs, then we fly there next. However, I would expect Alchemist to dig this hex with their first action. Um, we are also offered the double spade, or the, the coins action rather, but I think crazy as it is that the coins action is wrong. We've already passed up a lot to boost our economy here. But, but God, can I really afford to give Nerd Cube the coins? He has Earth one and Water one. I don't know that I can. If he just passes on to the six coins, then I probably just let him have the coins action as well. A lot of pressures here. So what if dwarves open with water one? If they open water one, no, then I, I get water one either way. So I, I open water one. Water one is nine points. Um, that can't be wrong. Water one, E1, those are my priorities this round. I think dwarves might want this guy. Plus a priest to like air or water so that they can get bridge. Uh, dwarves might get a second town here actually. Okay, so they are gonna rush water one, I guess. This is pretty great for uh I think we 
just leave our stuff like this. Um, there's no way that Fakirs don't take the coins if they're able. Um, and maybe they temple for fire too. I actually think that that would be pretty nice for them. But they should grab the coins first. Alchemists grab the coins first, which I don't think they should. Alchemists should dig A3 so that they can get a, sec a third town. Wow, Alchemists take the coins. Okay. That's fun. Um, we're, we are flying A3. Um, this hex is guaranteed to be connected. Dwarves come up here because they're desperately seeking hexes. Um, they took right. They took water one because they don't have access to earth one. This is also a neighboring spot, which is like underrated. Like they desperately need neighbors. So <laughs> um, let's move this flight. Oh, alchemists still have this as a town possibility, um, so that's fine. They might also just be concerned about making two towns for now, but they have enough workers that I think that they can dream bigger. I just realized that E1 is now floating. Don't love that for us. So we are going to temple he or TP here and then stick our priest onto one of these traps, either air or or water. Yeah, I think that the priest goes to either air or water. Dwarves go to water so that they can finally get their bridge. And do we convert here? I don't... Oh, alchemists are going to go for their third town down here. I see. Makes sense. Makes sense. I do think that them getting water one blocked is a bit of a bummer for them. So that's good for us. Um... that nerd cube is probably going to temple fire to this round. I actually kind of disagree with making this TP. I think that it was supposed to be temple. Well, it might, it might be temple error one, actually. Actually, it's probably temple error one, right? It's going to first secure some hexes, but... Yeah.
Let's turn this guy green. I don't think that node keeps going to fuck with it. Do not build. I'm going to go TP dwelling and just see if. The Gores will get a town this game. I have to assume this is Temple Air 1. I mean, I would be thrilled if it weren't, but... Wow. I think Nerd Cube just let me have the Air Cult. That's very generous. Could be Temple Air 3, I guess, but that's much worse than Temple Air. Wow, okay, hold on. I should not have been fighting as hard for uh, for network as I was. Like, I was beating Thor's on connection anyway, and yeah, I, that was a mistake. Dwarves, in fact, have a pretty decent chance to make two towns here. So here's our imposition of stronghold TP next round. That actually, well, it's not really useful for them. They already have two hexes that they can reach. They, they still want to go temple TP. All right, guys, we're getting an idea here. The idea is water two. If Nerd Cube doesn't close this cult, which I don't think he's going to here, I think I'm supposed to take water two and then bump air. It frees up a, it frees up a TP for next round. It uses an extra action, so I'm more likely to get onto these guys. Um, it's points on the, on the water cult, um, the only problem is that it becomes hard to advance my ship all the way, but, like, I'm not that, that concerned about that anymore. Yeah. I think that, I think that actually Temple Water 2 makes too much sense here. We'll see if Nerd Cube does close this cult, but I think that if he was going to close the cult, he was supposed to take Air 1 and then just use his Priest to close it earlier. He's probably still got me beat anyway, so it's not that important, but... The other thing I could do is I could, I suppose I could temple for fire two and then take the eight point town. 
like I the other the other other option is that I could um, close this with the eight pointer, but I think that Temple Water to close this cult uh, using the cult bump is the best thing that I can actually do. Okay. Looks like we are going to be allowed to do that. It requires a pretty f painful worker conversion. However, I've survived worse. Not to say that I've survived this per se, but this is probably a decline from Fakirs. They don't really need this. They can't use this power. They're overflowing already. This also means that I should get one of these two guys past tiles, depending on how aggressive, um, like I, I am going to close this cult. So it depends on how aggressive alchemists are about passing here. Alchemists take fire too, that makes plenty of sense. Um, they are still going for a three town game. The tier Fakirs get the spade and we will close our air cult. Delectable. This does mean that we're probably not taking our typical eight pointer here. I think that we're taking maybe a coin town, honestly. Um, okay. This makes sense. It's not clear that this is going to be that many points, but it's got to be better than any alternative, so. I like the, these two are just not a lot of economy. The, the priest could be worth like a couple points, but um, I think that this is, this is fine. This is going to be like four, this is going to be at least five points, right? Like I'm never building four TPs here. Fours really were not in position to. Yeah, I guess not. Fours take the eight pointer, that makes plenty of sense. Figures have two flights left. They want this coin's action, I think. Yeah, so depressingly enough, I don't think we can get down to two structures here. That's insane. Yeah, there's Temple for Air One. Yeah, that just. I think that that was a slight misstep by Nerdcube not to Temple Air 1 last round. He gets more economy this way, but I don't think that he needs that much econ when he was already going to get down to two structures. I don't think he's... Like, Alchemist can get down to one. They open Stronghold Temple Earth 2. Um, and they got the double spade in round one. They were always going to win Network. So... Um, if I'm Alchemist, I'm probably dropping the Priest onto... Earth here. Oh, they take the coins, right? Forgot about that. Okay, so take this. Um,
So we need eight coins for, yeah, can we get, we can't get any coins using our call pump. So we need eight coins in order to advance our shipping. And then we need 10 stuff in order to make two more TPs. I actually think that we have that. Um, like theoretically, there's also a single dig and a dwelling in there, but I guess there could be a double dig and a dwelling in there. That's that's the more appealing part, but I've already converted away that possibility. Um, but that is like the argument for going for a coin town here. Like if we just smash a double spade, um, Fly to I-11, no, because I, I can't connect to I-11 anymore, so. Uh, can this coin town possibly be correct? We took Earth one, right? So. So just trying to sequence this. I think we go priest to water. Dwarves are going to build three TPs. One, two, and then they can afford to make an expensive one. They, they should buy this here, I think. Um, yeah, dwarves killing me made me sad. One dangerous thing is that NerdCube is now incentivized to hate dig. Um, he can't really get down to like no structures left. So he wants to fly, he wants to dig and build and do nothing with one action. So I think that what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to build this hex. NerdCube has extra priests, so he wants to fly and build with his priest. So I think that the safest thing to do 
is to turn this guy. This is outside of the range of Fakirs. And if alchemists really want it, then they can have it. Um, well, we'll see if they do. Regardless, the play is to TP. Yeah, the play is TP, advance, advance, and fly if we can. Where can we put our TP? We'll put it up here. This doesn't seem to give a ton of leech to our opponents. Or this seems to be leech that our opponent might not want. Alchemists are having a fun time just delaying all their towns until the end. They're gonna get like infinite end game scoring as well. The only bummer is that they missed out on Blotter 1, thank god. Well, I have to admit, this has been a fairly interesting game. Much as I hate it. Now that I do have this open, we'll see uh, how inclined witches are to, or alchemists are to let us have that. Fakirs, I mean, Fakirs have the ability to get down to one structure. Um, so that, I think, is what Nerd is weighing here. He could go Temple for Fire 3. Um, finish off the Fire Cult. TP, dig and build A1. That would put him down to one structure. And then it doesn't really matter that I've gotten how far I've gotten down. Yeah, there it is. Here's fire three. Earth three? Get the fuck out of here, man. this leech. Let's see, what do we do here? This lets us fly and make a TP, I believe. I think that that has to be correct. Taking it, paying two victory points to build this TP, which is worth three plus three is six points. Minus one is five points, but we also gain an air one point. So that's a six point TP. Pay two points for it. I think that we, we clearly do that. Like we took a coin time for a reason, right? So. Um, so I just finally got into just the points making phase. Anyway, it turns out that um, this was not really worth it because I should have just taken like a priest town um, in hindsight because, <laughs> right, I, I should have just taken a priest town because I don't actually need this uh, this 15th structure because 
I'm pretty sure that both yeah both alchemists and fakirs are beating 15 straight up. Those are some pretty shockingly high networks um, given this color wheel. And the fact that the big building tile wasn't in the game, that's one of the best sources of econ for game plans like this. Doing some quick math. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, and then they get to 7, so that's 15, I think I said 13-ish workers to build these two towns. Then they need, so let's see. Let's say that they need one dig on average per hex um, other than no, they don't even need a dig. So they have two blacks left, um, five structures here. Um, so they need three digs, that's three workers, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen 15 workers to build everything. Yeah, so I feel pretty good about thinking that alchemists are gonna just build everything. Um, they have earth one and it's a TP round, so that seems pretty worth it to them. So we're going to tie I think that we're gonna tie here. I don't think alchemists have quite enough stuff to send water three and two pre, ah, they might have water three plus two priests to water. It sucks, but such is life. Um, regardless, we're gonna do this first. So we're gonna end with 14 cult points. center there, but whatever. Okay, so what do we got? We got 123, then we pass for 11. Um, pass for 11, that's 134. 134, we're only at six network points, so that's 140. And then we're gonna get 14, so 154. Nerd Cube is going to dig and build for one more and then he's gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 10 cult points, 22 points in the end game, plus the two points now. Oh, he's, he's gonna fly right now. So that's 131, passes for four, 135. Network is 12, so that's 147. God, he's got me beat by like, ooh, that's, that's savage. That's murderous. That's so cruel. But Nerd Keeps got me beat by like three points, I think. Um, Zoa, it just doesn't look like this is enough points. It just it just looks like slightly too few points for uh, for Alchemist here. Like they have a decent number of endgame points, but they should clear their board 
<laughs> they're deep dig doing it for the viewers. Um, I don't actually know if you guys can see my cursor now I'm looking at it. Um, now there's a pretty decent chance that I lose this water cult, which is sad. But I will make my sad final effort to go up it. So actually that priest power action was pretty decisive this game for Fakirs. If they don't get that priest power action... Um, they don't get those final four points. And I think that those four points were needed to beat me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have 134 on the pass. This is 135. Yeah, I'm gonna have 154. Eric Gibbs gonna have 157. Brutal. I guess that's even assuming that alchemists actually get down to one structure with, or to clear their board, which at this point I guess looks less and less likely. Um, so I think this might be 160 for Fakirs. Yes. Offer this. Yeah, this actually does kind of look like it could be Temple Fire 3 plus a whole bunch of crap. Well, or Water 3 plus a whole bunch of crap, rather. So I, I expect that this is second place. Um, I didn't do the math on dwarves, but it looks like Scoomy Rooms is at, if he gets a free leash from here or here, um, as, as Alchemist build, then they'll be at 125. They have no network, so that's 125. This is 16, 18, 141. So yeah, I think that we're pretty clearly ahead of dwarves here. Um, Okay, Alchemists decide to conserve victory points as opposed to doing this ridiculous chasing on the water cult thing, which is thankful, but um, probably not quite enough for the win here. And they probably just pass here. Two resource points, that's 96. 15 network, that's 111. Yeah, in the 120s. Yeah, a little unfortunate for Alchemist the way that it broke down in the end. I think that if they had a little more tempo on the spades that they wanted, things might have gone a little differently. And of course, they were just one town away from hitting 14 structures. Hey, Patrick. Um, why did I not take temp ship in round one? Yes, that's a great question. Um, basically, I was gambling that dwarves had better stuff to do than to grab this hex in round one. So if dwarves think that they want to go d4, c2 in round one, or like at least have this path open for them, then my plan was to s strong... Basically, the answer is coins, right? I pass on to the six coins tile, and I figured if I took temp ship, then I was going to have a six action round, and there was almost no chance that I was passing on to the temp ship, onto the six coins tile. Um, and I would be like coin starred for the rest of the game including in round three, which was the TP round. So basically what I figured was I would have a three action round, build a stronghold, fly, and then immediately pass on to temp ship. 
Um, then I get all my greens, and I get to build during the dwellings round. And I get the six coins that I needed so badly. Um, but of course it didn't wind up shaking out that way because dwarves immediately just took my hex. Um, of course, like, temp ship wound up being, like, super, super open for the entire game, which is really nice, but, um, in the end I didn't use it for its shipping value at all because the spade came up. Um, there's still, like, a slight thing in me that thinks maybe sending priest to air instead of advancing ship was the right move and then pass on to temp ship instead of the spade. Uh, but I think that it worked out pretty well getting two spades and the like the double spade action plus the um, the bonus spade in round two. So can't really complain too much there. I guess we'll take a quick look at the breakdown of this game. Um, uh, Nerd Cube, you streaming bastard. Look at us. Look at us, slow you were. Look at us. We're the fastest of these streamers, right? <laughs> Uh, anyway, we got zero coins actions, which was pretty funny. We relied heavily on taking spade actions. Um, not to mention we pass on to the bonus spade once. Um, we transformed six to our, uh, this is actually a little fewer than I thought, so it's actually not that bad. Um, they were basically all from double spades and from the cult spades. Uh, in the end, we got similar coins to everyone else um, a lot of it came from the leech and we had to take a sad coin town so that feels kind of bad all around um, okay so let's take a look here we crushed the scoring track uh, we built two temples during the temples round and three tps during the tps round um, plus four dwellings during the dwellings round so that's eight plus eight plus nine points right there um, over three of the rounds, plus we, so that's 17 points, or rather that's 27 points from those three rounds, plus five from the um, stronghold round at the beginning. Wow, we really, I guess we really hit, oh, we got we got this TP round as well, and this stronghold round. Yeah, we, we hit every round well, um, so I'm very happy with that, actually. Um, that's kind of a cool game plan, as you might say, and that's so, I mean, if you look at this score, this is the reason why I went for the, um, not the temp ship in round one, right? Uh, because the temp ship in round two let me get more points for building dwellings during that time. And I felt like I had enough workers anyway with the air cult supplement in round one. Um, we got all three scoring favors late in the game where our economy was good. This was whatever, this was, this was sad. Um, I do feel like there's a case that the priest was better here, but this also helped me to win air, which I think that, admittedly, I think Fakirs weren't supposed to let me win air. Um, it's very sad to only get six network points after building six, 15 structures, but that's just how competitive and economically minded this table was. No one took Earth 1 in round 1. Um, there was an Earth 2 stronghold alchemist, and Fakirs just got truly like infinite leech plus they got coins actions that i gave up because i was i was trying to protect hexes and then they got this um maybe if i get one of those instead and um yeah maybe if i get one of those instead but i made the most points here but um this starting deficit was was too much to overcome okay i think that's it um thanks for watching thanks for chatting it was a long stream um, it's good to be streaming again, so hopefully we'll be able to do it some more soon. Um, thanks everyone. See you next time.